characters of his generation and our favorite superhero, Robert Downey Jr. Oh, yeah. I'm very, very, very humbled and grateful to be here. Um, I have three words for you. Eddie Van Halen. The man we honor tonight as our first ever guitar god is a musical genius. He is a virtuoso. He took the instrument of Les Paul, Muddy Waters, Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, and Jimi Hendrix, and somehow made it even more electric. Right from his very first eruption, Eddie's dazzlingly fast, endlessly melodic style blazed the trail for a million future guitarists. They all tried to follow Eddie's two-handed tapping his effortless hammer-ons and his artful pull-offs and wondered aloud, how the hell would you do that? Someone once asked Eddie Van Halen if he ever took formal guitar lessons and he said, no, that's why I do all this crazy stuff. You only have 12 notes, do what you want with them. And Eddie did exactly that. He did what he wanted with his own two hands and in a flash the rest of the listening world wanted what he wanted too. Men have always loved the guitar, but when Eddie started to play, this suddenly became a love reborn. And because Eddie dreamed of making the ultimate sound, he even dared to mutate every guitar he ever loved. And in the process, he gave us the enduring vision of monstrous sonic beauty, the Frankenstrat. There are brilliant musicians who play by the rules, and then there are the true evolutionaries who just make up their own. Here's a look at the track record of a rock and roll revolutionary, Eddie Van Halen. Awards, I give you your guitar god. If you do not, I'll stand right now. I'll hit you with my repulsor beams. Eddie Van Halen! Yeah. 
an idea of what to say on the way over here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little choked up here. When my mom, dad, and my brother and I first came to America when I was seven years old, we came here with 50 bucks and a piano. I'm living proof anything is achievable. drinking when I was 12 years old, when I started playing guitar. I quit a year ago, 42 years later. That also shows you anything is achievable. I want to thank my best friend and my son, Wolfgang, my brother, Alex, my friend, Matthew Bruck, and Ryan Noto, most of all, my wife-to-be, Janie, they have given me a reason to stop bullshitting myself, and that keeps me sober. I don't do what I do for, for this, but man, it sure feels good. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Welcome, brother, comedy legend, triumph the insult comic dog.